Patmos and welcome back to the continuing adventures with our cool settlement in Farthest Frontier as we are now, well, just moving around. And, uh, well, I think we have a nice little area here that's so uh, pretty okay defended, but we could do better maybe. Uh, who knows? But for now, I love this area because this is really strong and protective against the outside world. And all we need now is to get a barracks and uh, we can upgrade our towers too. Now we have not gotten to barracks yet, but that might be one of the things we, we will go to at some point. To make sure that we have some soldiers on hand that can travel around. Now of course we're already short of laborers all the time. But we don't need to get these barracks straight off filled up with people. We can just build it. And make sure that it is ready. Plus our barracks can shoot. So if we build the barracks somewhere at a point where we think the enemy will come or will be. We might just help out by defending the area a bit better. If we build it here for instance. It can help out during a large portion of the system here. Now we have a gate on this side. We also have gates on the other side. So if we build a barracks here and maybe later on one here. When the enemy comes in. Well, they can help shoot. So actually what I'm planning on doing is uh, destroying this bit of road. Let's clear it out and then make sure that we build a barracks here. I think this will be helpful to us. Now we have to build a small little piece of road here again. If we can, no we can't because it's just not... Uh, it's a too short path, but that's fine. At least we'll be having some nice barracks to help defend. Now, food-wise, we're okay, but we wanted to go a step further by making sure that we get the um, weed up. And that should be happening next year. So what we can do now is get rid of all of this and make sure that we do something else here now. Let's see. These are very frost-tolerant, but they're not really that good for... And yeah, this could work out. So now we get a lot of healthy, fertile land. But we need more weed if we want to keep the mill going and provide all of this with uh, what it needs. Oh, and we need an extra red catcher. Now the red catcher can just go here. Somewhere. And employ this whole area where we also have the um, granaries. So that might actually be very helpful another thing i want is just that extra farm field right here so that we can get the extra weed going now if we make this one six wide now oh, this is interesting i think we miscalculated a bit so this one will be five wide and then in the middle we'll get a six wide one two three four five six yeah all right interesting it's fine no worries we just get a little bit bigger field in the middle but these three fields will then provide us with all the weed that we need, I hope. And then we just need to get a baker. And we will build a lot of bread. And hopefully that will feed the population. Alright, let's keep going. Because we are now going to build the um, barracks. We're going to build a red catcher. We need to get an extra farm field. And we're still busy upgrading these walls. So... Our builders will be quite busy. And then the next step will be getting walls and towers up here. And walls and towers up here. So far, I have found that this system will draw the attackers a little bit more to the open areas. But maybe you have thoughts and ideas on that too. So if you have, leave a comment about it. Maybe you've experimented with this too. Does it really work that way? Does it work another way? Feel free to let me know and let everybody else know so that we can learn from that. For now, to me, it seems to be working, but I can always be mistaken, of course. All right, this is filled up. This is filled up. This is almost filled up. So, whoa, we're getting a lot of resources in. And we can see that plenty of firewood going on actually so much going on that we might just lower the amount of people that actually make the firewood a little bit and they can then do other stuff three kids growing up that's great we get 25 of these now let's get some extra builders because well 
This all needs to be finished. Ah, there comes the gates. They are very strong and powerful. So that's good. We have a little trader here. Can we? Ooh, we can sell him some pottery for a good price. Make some extra money. A villager died. That's not so good. We have some clothing, but he doesn't pay a good price for it. Could get some extra stone, but I'm not really into stone. Yeah, all the rest is not that interesting, but the... Um, the pottery was good. Um, there we go. The village is raided. We get another attack. They come from the north. Alright, so let's set up this. Get people in. Can we get more people into the towers? Not really. We can get extra people in these towers if we want to. So let's try that. But the raiders are coming and there is 39 of them. Um... Which is basically a lot. But we're killing off the first. So that's good. The barracks. Oh, they quickly built the barracks. Let's put people in there. They'll have to grab weapons and stuff. But when they do, they can help fire on the enemy. And um, where did all the raiders go? Oh, they're going after my carts. That's not nice, people. Don't go after my carts. We already killed 14 of the raiders. Now... I don't know about you guys, but I think that's good. The towers here really worked. And now that we have the barracks, we can upgrade our towers soon. Now, this is very costly. You have to remind, be aware of that, that this is really costly. But the good thing is, this can now help to fire. So once they are, yeah, there they come. They will probably try to destroy this wagon or the person on it. But that's about it. And now it comes back. Apparently, they're not really doing that much damage. Ah, there we go. All right, here they come in. They killed another villager, which is another good sight. But these people helping out in the fight might be a good sight. Let's go over here. Let's get them out. And let's make sure they fight. And there we see ooh, lots of people getting killed. 29 of the 39, 30 killed. All right, this worked. All right, let's remove the flag. So let everybody return to barracks. They can just flee away. That's fine. And we can get the people out of the barracks because this raid is over. We don't want to pay for them. And uh, crops ready for assignment. That's always a good thing to read. Let's get this going. Now we're going to rotate it a bit with this. So here we have uh, wheat now and then the other one. So let's do this. Yep, this is heat tolerant, so that's good. This is also heat tolerant, and that one. So now they're not doing the same thing in one year, so that's a good feature. Mine is out of ore. Oh, that's never a good thing. Um, so yeah, let's get the people out. Let's make sure that this gets emptied out soon. And we need another clay pit. Luckily, yeah, that's close by. So we can just switch this over. And build it right here. Oh, plenty of clay there. All right, 32 out of the 39 got killed. So I'm happy with that. Let's get the people out of the town hall. And, um, <clears throat> sorry. I'm pretty happy with this raid. Three villagers got killed. We killed most of the raiders. And it worked again. They walked straight into the trap here. And we've defeated them. We still have 28 people available. Now, if we want to upgrade a tower like this, what does it cost? 35 stone, 20 iron, some gold, and some wooden planks. Now, we have all of this. Question is, what's more worth it? Is it more worth upgrading the tower? Or is it more worth making sure that we have all of this turned into a uh, stone? And I think I'm going to go with upgrading the walls first. And then later on, we'll do the towers. Having these strong walls that really guide these raiders into the trap that we've set, I think is better than just making sure that they um, have the, we have those stronger towers. We can get those at some point anyways. I'm not too concerned about it. This might just be a better way. All right, we should be getting in some weed at some point. We can store 1,800 in here. How much should we get out of this? 900, okay. 
And then, yeah, they can make it into grain. And then we'll need a bakery. I don't think we have one yet. But we can find out. Food production. A bakery. Do we have one yet? I don't think so. Should we build it just right here? It will help the desirability go up. Let's start off with one bakery right there. I'm going to prioritize this one because soon enough we'll get the wheat and grain. So, or the flour. I have to say flour, of course. Um, and then we can start to bake bread. And that will can make a continuous stream of food for our town. That's really helpful. Oh, another three kids growing up. Two new kids born. We have one sick, but that's okay. They're already... Oh, wow. They're going fast with these upgrades. Very nice. Now, luckily, we have the rat catcher here. So that should just catch all the rats. That's fine. That should not take too long. Getting in bits of coal now with the charcoal burner. So we could also go for the brick maker. So that at least we get bricks. Because we need those bricks for some of the upgrades. Uh, that we want to do in our town. So let's just build a brick maker there. Is this one completely emptied out? There's still a bit in storage. But uh, yeah, we can salvage this. That's fine. This one is ready now. Let's put two extra workers in there. So that we get all the extra clay out. Mine is out of ore. Yeah, that's the same mine. That's why I'm destroying it. So, yeah, all the clay and stuff is gone, which is good. That means that we have extra space here for other buildings that we need to get or want to get. So I'm not too unhappy about it. We have the uh, rat catcher here. Let's just set it up in a way that it also does this few housing houses that don't have anything. This gets filled up with uh, grain now. Good, good job. 450 in here 700 now or almost 800 so that's good that's about what we've harvested i guess this is already working flour so now with the baker up yep stocking the bakery now it needs water luckily we have a well close by but upgrading it might go a long way too we just need more stone 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 that's all that we need okay uh, a good thing could also be to try and aim for the healer's house upgrade. Now, that's where we need the bricks to come in. That will be nice because a upgraded healer's house will do a way better job at fixing up all the people. So, I'm kind of keen on going there. Uh, this is interesting. Let's work on making some bread. Bread spoils quickly, but they will eat it quickly as well. So, uh, that should be a very good addition. More and more kids growing up. Villager cured. Alright, let's put four people in there. We have flour. And we have firewood. We just need water. Now this is completely filled up with water. So that should not take long. Seeking shelter because of the cold. Yeah, that's that makes sense. These two will get uh, some extra fertility out of this. So that's nice. Another villager cured. I think we have plenty of laborers at this point. Well, not plenty, but okay numbers. So we don't need to worry about that. All the walling here is ready. How are we doing with this? Does it still have stone in its reach? It doesn't say. Yeah, there's still a little bit of stone. But I think we can already start to move this too. Because there's more stones here. Yep, there they go. Perfect. Perfect. And this one... Oh, this is filled up too. Oh, this one still has a few trees to go. Should we get one more of these? Or two or three? <laughs> Just to get those extra bits of fruit out. That's a nice building, the Iris. The preservers can also help out, but then we need glass first. And for glass, the bookbinder, the paper mill, the glass maker. We need sand and coal. Now, I don't think we're bringing in sand yet. No. So we should start by making sure that we start to produce some sand. Now, here we have a nice sand mine. Must be placed on a sand pit. Yeah, I know. This is where the sand is. It's just also where the road is. Uh, there is a good amount of sand, though, so... 
what we can do, of course, is get rid of the road. And try and build a sand pit on here. Come on. Yeah, there it is. Yep. And then we'll just build a road around the sand pit. And build a road like this. Okay, there we are. That looks good. Hopefully this sand pit won't get destroyed all the time when we are busy with um, having a village. Two kids growing up again. 19 laborers. Okay, okay. So rats again, but they should be taken care of quickly. And we're really baking bread. Now, already baked 160 bread. Well, let's sell all of that bread. Let's get an extra worker in here to mix. Yep, there's the bread, so it's in there. A lot of these workers can just have extra people in them that will make them work more efficiently. But upgrading these also helps, so... I guess we have to do a lot of upgrading if we want to get all these things ready. mill still turning we still have stuff in the granary buildings on fire and there's a new merchant let's see what can we offer him what can we sell him uh, we can sell him some pottery we have plenty of that makes a bit of extra money we still have one of these present maybe we need more but we can buy stones for pretty cheap uh, let's buy them all because i want to get those and make sure yeah let's sell some more Okay, well, now we have plenty of stone so that we can start upgrading maybe a few of those towers. Now, it's very tempting to do all of them at once, but that will mean that um, if the enemy comes now, we have two towers not functioning. So we're not going to do all of them at once. We'll do two, and once they're ready, we'll do another one. Yeah, they're all building now, busy now building, so that does work. And this is ready. So let's get this out. And get in the beans because they add some fertility and this. Okay. Yeah, they're frost tolerant, so they should go in the beginning. That's the second field up and running. So all we need now is the third field up and running. And once that is ready, we have weed all year round to take care of the meal and get it into the bakery. And we have 20 sacks of flour, so not that much. So we'll have to keep our eyes on if we produce enough flour. Uh, trader number two. Oh, you want some clothing for the nice price. Okay. Anything you want to sell me for the right price? Some meat, some clay. Yeah, maybe not really what I am looking for. So this is all good. This is also all not really what I'm looking for. So yeah. We're done. Four kids growing up. Still have plenty of kids though, so no worries there. And the towers are upgraded. Perfect. Let's upgrade one more. Are these immigrants? I think these are immigrants. Yes. That's always what I would love to see. Let's upgrade three towers now. Do it at the same time. We have to build a few houses soon. Yeah, seven immigrants. Let's accept them. Let's start expanding our town with a few houses. I think two houses should already be enough to house them all. But I also want a little bit more growth. So we'll do three houses. That should do the trick. And make us grow as much as we want. Hopefully they can build that quickly. And with all these new people in... I'm going to get this extra field up so we have all the fields here that we wanted to. And I'm going to go for another arborist. Just because we can. And because I want to have things ready. Now, I, we can also just go ahead and already start planting trees. That will function because then they will be in reach and they can start using these already. So uh, this is very useful, making sure that we can use those trees to our benefit. So let's go. Planting a nice amount of trees already here.
will take up quite the work, of course, but... Um, eh. Let's just get it done. Ah, we can see the first trees are planted. They can start to grow. Nice. All towers are upgraded. Perfect, perfect. Now we're slowly growing our town bit by bit. So we need that extra food, actually. Um, and can we see if we get more... F no, we don't really get that much flour. So I guess soon we'll need this field and one extra mill. That might also work out. And then we can... Are we making these tools? No, we're not making heavy tools yet. We're just going for the gold. That's a real shortage because we now we are really dependent on those heavy tools. Yeah, this one we need, the blacksmith forge. Let's just build it here too. And make sure that we get um, to a point. Crops lost to frost. Where? Right here. These lost to frost. Ah, okay. Well, that's only in the end, and it's just a tiny bit, so that's okay, because most of the harvest should be already in. Same here, they're doing the different crops now, but that's okay. Crops ready for assignment. Perfect, that went fast. Well, let's get the field ready first. And then get some beans in, and here we get this in, and then we'll see what we do with that one. But at least then, not straight away, but after another year we get some extra food from that too. Look at this. All the arborist trees are already built. It's just waiting now for the... Uh, oh, another mine is out of ore. That's my iron mine. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. All right, let's destroy it. Ah, I thought we already had a tough time finding this one iron mine. Now it's out of ore. I have to find another one. Now this helps if you click this we can easily spot the iron mines by the area that will take a different color. Here's one. So that is something but there's hardly any iron in there. Just 500. So yeah that's not too good. Is there any other area here? Oh but that is coal. Yeah that's coal. And we build a mine on it already. Let's get some extra people in there by the way. To bring in that coal that we need. It's pretty stable now. So I want to get a little surplus of coal. Here we have gold. Oh, interesting, but that's not really iron. And I want iron. All right, here we have water and stuff. There's another coal one. That's a deep mine. Let's go check any iron here. No, 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 no. So it might just be going for that one little one. Oh, here's iron. How much is in here? Just 165. That's a waste. That's like almost no iron. But it is probably the best to go for anyway. So let's just build it there. We need all the iron that we can get, apparently. To make weapons and stuff. So we have to just get it. Same one with the one here. We'll just have to get it. So let's just build it. Alright, we have a few new villagers born. And we just have to go aim for tier 4 then, so that we can get some deep mines going. Because I believe there was a deep mine somewhere close, but I'm not 100% sure. What do we need for tier 4? Lots of stone, lots of gold, lots of iron. So yeah, problem. Um, I thought there was something of a deep iron mine somewhere here, but... Sometimes I get a bit confused where things were, and there's no easy search button... There's a deep clay mine. Alright, let's just go on a little recon. We have to find it anyway if we want to uh, make sure that we get some of it. Ah, there's a bear. Now my tower should help out. Yep, there we can see them shoot. Well, that's fast. Thank you very much, good towers. Oh, we can upgrade these. This is so powerful if we can upgrade these. Because now sometimes we are at the limit of our storage. If we upgrade them, food will remain good for longer. And it can store more. So that will be good. 
Uh, so let's start upgrading one of them. Now we might... Or you might have already seen that the amount of gold that we have is lowering a bit. So we might need to change that up a bit too. Let's get some gold into the town storage. And maybe we should try and aim for selling a bit more goods. All right, taxes are collected. That's okay. Village cured. That's always nice. We can see our farmers really getting busy doing the planting and then working this field, making sure that all the weeds and stuff get out. That's perfect. Here we have the arborist with a lot of trees growing already. Can't wait for that to be brought in. That helps. And yeah. This is a deep coal deposit. Very nice, but not iron. So we might need to do some recon here too. It's okay if it's a bit far away in iron mine, but we need more iron. Traveling merchant has arrived. Well, let's see. Ah, we can sell some pottery here. We could even sell a bit of clothing. Let's sell 25 pieces of clothing. Just once, not going to do that continuously. With the pottery, I'm fine with doing it continuously. This is almost out of money now, by the way, so I can't sell everything. Is there anything that we can buy for a good price here? No, not really. Can it? Yeah, it can still pay for this. And we made like 1300 in total, I think. So that's a nice amount of money added to our stockpile. There's no flour. Oh, well, there is still plenty of wheat. So we could use an extra meal and probably an extra person in there to help out. That might make a big difference. We already have 560 flour produced. So... That's a good amount. What can we do here? Can we buy something here? I think we should buy one or two of these. Or maybe even three. Just to be on the safe side so that we have those. If we don't have them, we can't really use them. And now we have them, so that's good. And we can sell some other stuff here too. To make that money back. So no issue there. We already got the money back that we paid for it. But now we have the extra machine tools to keep all our machines going and this is now working i don't want to make tools don't want to make too many swords but yeah this i do want to make i want to make shorts a few and i want to make a few um heavy tools i wish we could just set like make at least 10 or something like that so that we'll always have 10 in store or whatever now, 10 might be a bit much, but you get my drift. That would be nice. That's, how's the workers? 26 workers, 3 builders. We can put this down. I think we can soon go for the extra field. But first, we need that extra mill. Because we have plenty of flour there. We just need to mill it. So let's do that. Now we can see that these are already... Yeah, they're not completely starting to fill up. But it's also not that far off. So let's just build two extra granaries as well. And make sure that we have plenty of storage. Especially if we get that extra field going. Are these... Yeah, there can be two people extra in there for the extra wood. Soap. Nice. Let's get some extra soap makers. Three kids grew up. I think we have a pretty steady pace of kids growing up. We have a good amount of adults. A little over half the town is now still adolescent, child or infant. But it's not that much out of balance anymore. We're getting the better balance. And um, to me that is a good sign. I like that. And did we do some recon already? Oh, there's water here. Nice. No iron. There's coal, but we already found that. All right. There's a new patch of water here that we have not found yet. So that's interesting. There's some stones here. There's the iron mine that they build. There's gold here. There's stone here. There's a little hill here. Let's do some recon there. I want to see what's out here. 
There is an edge to the map, so we could also just at some point go to the edge of the map and find what we want. Um, I'm kind of curious though. Well, the, uh, this one's empty, that's for sure. Let's just go on a recon. Maybe we can find that one interesting bit that we have not found yet and then see, ah, there's a deep mine or whatever. There's a deep gold mine, which is uh, already interesting. It's, uh, it's interesting to see. I hope that we can uh, get the right deposits though. Otherwise, huh, how else can we get growing? This is completely filled up with fruits. So why isn't that picked up then? Maybe we need to build an extra road here to help out with that. Sometimes a bit of extra roading can help make sure that all the goods are being brought in. This cart is really driving around well, so that works. We might just get an extra storage here. It's outside. It's tricky if you build a food storage here. But right now, these can't produce anything. We'll just build the storage here so that it's not too far out. But also, so these can all store their goods at least in there so they can keep producing. That's sometimes better than just uh, not having it completely. All right, we're going to upgrade a few roads again through town to speed things up even further so far they're doing things very quickly so oh some work areas are empty all right we need to move it there's no stone in here anymore then apparently um well here's some more stone up there's some more stone so let's start here then it's not too much in here i think is that all yeah this is the only one okay well now they should be able to get some stone and then we can still move it up further here. Uh, oh, here's good amounts of stone too. So that might, uh, that will be fine. That will be fine. We can see that these deer are no longer near the farm field. So that worked, the moving of them. This is ready. So let's get this out and let's see what we can put in here then. Uh, I don't think we should put in flax. Maybe we could do some buckwheat. It's heat tolerant, but not frost tolerant. It also yields grain. Okay, I don't think I want grain, but... Oh, we can do some cabbage. And then some more fertility, I think. Yep, that's okay. How's the other fields doing? Are they all as I want them to be? Yeah, there's no fields. Not set up properly. I think we see a little increase in amount of food that we have. So it is working out. The extra effort that we put into food production took some time. But in the end, I think it's really working out. Because we were down to like three, four months every now and then. And, and that's that's really not the case anymore. We're now up to nine months with about four to spoil. So yeah, we made improvements in that way. Good amounts of fruit as well. Another goal could be, especially now that we are busy with the sand... To get going with glass and then the preservist because that will really keep food good for longer but that's will be something for another episode because right now we have a lot of fun but it's also been over half an hour so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you have not done so please subscribe to my channel leave all your comments in the comment section i will respond to them and then of course i hope to see you in a brand new video thank you so much bye bye